Never Stop Learning, week 187. We're going to take a quick look at the eyedropper pickup and apply functions in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. All right, so here I've got some basic shapes laid out, and I created these using these graphic styles. So I created one called Cools. I created another one called Warms, and these are just some basic appearance graphic styles. And we have this complex appearance graphic style over here called Button, Illuminated Mouse Down. And this one actually ships with Adobe Illustrator. All right, so back over here in this document, in order to find the eyedropper tool, you want to come over here to the Tools panel. And when I come over here, I could click on it to activate it, or I could hit the I key on my keyboard. All right, now I'm going to double click on this eyedropper, and that's going to bring up the eyedropper options. Now I'm going to uncheck this option right here for appearance, and this is what it looks like by default. So I'm going to click OK to accept that change. Now this is how the eyedropper ships in Adobe Illustrator. If you take a look at my cursor, you see I have an empty eyedropper at the moment. So in this mode, it's ready to pick up an appearance. So it's ready to pretty much like soak it up. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on over here. If I select this shape right over here, over here in my appearance panel, you see we have a basic appearance of a light colored stroke set to 10 points with a darker color fill in there. Now when I come over here, I'm gonna select this guy at the bottom and that's a default appearance of a black stroke set to one point with a white fill. What I want to do is use the eyedropper tool to suck up this appearance and spill it out onto this shape right over here. So while I have this shape targeted, I'm going to hit the I key on my keyboard and then just click on this shape once. And now what we've done is we've applied this appearance onto this shape right over here. All right, cool. So another way to work, if I come over here to the second shape, what I want to do is select this guy right here because I want to apply this appearance onto this shape right over here. So I'm going to hit the I key on my keyboard to bring up the eyedropper tool. And when I hit the option key on my keyboard, you see my cursor changes up a bit. Now the eyedropper flip positions so it can make a little bit more obvious that the behavior is going to change. And it's also filled in with the appearance. All right, so when I come over here, I'm going to click on this once and now we've applied this appearance onto this shape even though we didn't have this shape selected. So now it's kind of like a paint bucket, but it's basically spilling out the contents inside the eyedropper and the contents was the appearance of this shape. All right, so let me undo that and this time I'm going to deselect. So if I come over here to the appearance panel, you see we have no selection, but it's using the warms graphic style over here, so we have a light colored stroke with a darker fill, and the stroke is set to 10 points. So even though I do not have a selection, I still have an appearance loaded. So if I come over here to the shape, option, click on it, now we're able to apply that selection on there. So that's gonna help me out in different workflows if I have several different graphic styles going. All right, so another modifier we could use in our workflow is the shift key. So I'm gonna select this object right in here, and in this case, what I want to do is I want to make a change to this stroke right in here, but I want to keep this fill color. So let's take a look over here in the tools panel. If I hit the X key, I'm going to activate the fill and I'm going to make some changes to the fill. And if I hit the X key again, I'm going to be making some changes to the stroke. And that's what I want. So let's take a look over here. I want to use this blue fill to make a change to this stroke over here. So I'm going to hit the I key to bring up my eyedropper tool. And if I were to just to click on the fill, it would actually suck up the entire appearance and then apply it to this shape. And that's not what I want. So I'm going to undo that. What I want to do is hover over the fill and then shift click on it. So now what we're doing is we're applying this fill onto this stroke. And we're able to do that because the stroke is activated over here in the tools panel. All right. So let me undo that. This time what I want to do is make a change to the fill. So if I come over here and just hit the X key, now it's activating my fill. If I come back over here, I want to use the stroke color to apply it to that fill. So I'm going to shift, click on that, and now we're able to apply this stroke color into this fill. If I want this fill color, I'll just shift, click on that, and it's going to update it that way as well. All right, last, we have this guy over here. So let me select this shape and show you what's going on here. This is actually a complex appearance. If you take a look in the appearance panel, we have multiple fills going on in here. So a complex appearance is going to have multiple fills or multiple strokes or multiple effects or any combination of those. All right, so what I want to do is I want to apply this complex appearance onto this shape right over here. So I could hit the I key, 
to bring up my eyedropper tool. I'm going to hit the Option key so I could apply that appearance. And when I click on the shape, you see it's not able to bring over the entire appearance. And that's because we don't have those options activated in the eyedropper options. So let me undo that. To bring up the eyedropper tool options, I'm going to hit the Enter Return key on my keyboard while I have the eyedropper activated. And over here, I'm going to check these boxes. I'm going to check Appearance and check Appearance over here as well. When we're doing that, we're actually telling Illustrator that we want to use complex appearances to be picked up and applied to our shapes. So I'll click OK to accept that. Now that we're able to apply a complex appearance, I'm going to come over here, Option, click on it, and now you see it's bringing over the entire appearance. If I were to select this guy right in here, take a look at the appearance panel. It's showing multiple fills going on in here, and it matches up on that shape we were using on top. And there you have it, folks. That's the eyedropper pickup and apply functions in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.